Hello there, welcome to Skyber Hacks. Today I'll start a new series called uh, App of the Fortnite, and the first app out is KSNIP. And it's uh, we've got through what it is and what it can do for you and how you can get a hold of it. So first off, what is it and what can it do for you? So KSNIP is a screenshot tool and it allows you to screenshot your entire desktop or just an application um, and it, afterwards it lets you annotate that screenshot. So before, I would just, you know, take a screenshot using uh, Image Magic or Scrut or GIMP, and then import that into GIMP or something similar, and then annotate it. And that was a bit tedious, and it, um, yeah, in practice, I then never annotated or very seldomly annotated it. So with KSNIP, I annotate all the time. Now I'll show you how easy it is. So let's see here. Here I have KSNIP, and um, you know you will normally have this in your toolbar somewhere, um, but here I have it up as a floating window, and I can then select to uh, screenshot the rectangular area, or uh, the full screen of all the monitors. So here I have three monitor setups. I could have had all three monitors, and then uh, or the current screen or the active window. I find rectangular area to be the most useful, but that's just me. Um, and then there's a timeout of two seconds before I get this uh, cursor, and then I can do the screenshot, and then I get a new window with just that screenshot in. And the really, really cool thing about KSNIP is that here I'm then allowed to make annotations on that screenshot. So let's say I want to have a rectangular area around the first word. I can do it like that, and then I can create an arrow, and I can write something like, here. Uh, another very very useful thing is that it has numbered uh, what do you call these buttons so you can do like one two three and then you can in the text you know if there's a pull request and you want to you know comment on the pull request or how to reproduce a bug you can say well click here then click here and then click here and then you get a bug very useful uh, there's also a lot of other nice things like smileys. You know, you can add some love to your screenshots like this. And when you're done, um, you can just copy it to your clipboard. You don't even need to do, create a file out of it. You can just copy it and then, you know, switch to Slack or whatever else you're using for chat and then just paste it in and you're done. Uh, CaseNim is a really, really useful application. I do recommend that you check it out. Um, so how to get it? Uh, on Linux, uh, you can app install it if you are in Debian, Ubuntu, and then you have you know corresponding DNF yum install if you are in Fedora, Red Hat, or Pac-Man if you are on Arch based Linux distributions. Um, and of course, you have flat uh, blah, blah, You've got flat packs and snaps, and you have an image uh, app image as well that you can download and just make it executable and then run it. Um, yeah, there are Windows builds as well, so you can install it for Windows as well as Mac OS. In summary, KSNIP is great. Um, it lets you create screenshots and annotate these, and it supports Linux, Apple, and Windows. That's it. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.